In this ISTQB Agile Tester Certification tutorial, we are going to talk about test levels and the differences between the test levels in Agile development approach versus traditional development approach. Now before we get started, let's see what the test levels are. So test levels are the testing activities that are logically related by the maturity of the product under test. Now what that means is that for example your product is in the initial phases of development then the, there will be unit testing that will be done on that particular product once the unit testing is passed and that phase of development has happened and developers are happy to move it to further testing then that moves to the testers to do the integration testing so here unit testing and integration testing are the test levels and similarly once the integration testing is passed you move to the system testing and once system testing is passed you move to the acceptance testing so these are the testing levels in the um, software testing so unit integration system and acceptance testing these are some of the testing levels in software testing now let us see um, what is the difference between the test levels in agile versus traditional development approach so in agile approach test levels overlap requirement specification design development often overlap with the test levels however in traditional approach if you would have seen the waterfall approach or v model you would see that exit criteria of one test level becomes entry criteria for the other test level so until and unless all the test cases or or the agreed amount of test cases or coverage is um, found or is passed in the unit testing level you don't start with the integration testing that was how the traditional development approaches worked and until uh, the agreed amount of um, test cases are passed in integration test you don't move to the system test and that was the um, the whole idea in the traditional development approach that entry criteria or exit criteria of one test level used to become the exit criteria for the other test level however in agile you don't have any such approach um, wherein entry criteria of one test level becomes the exit uh, becomes the uh, sorry exit criteria of one test level becomes entry criteria for the other test level so in agile usually all the test levels will overlap with the requirement with the design development you will have the test levels as per the progress in the development phase there will be testing activities within that same particular iteration as well now now during the iteration uh, what are the test levels that could happen in the agile so these are some of the test levels that that will be there in the agile uh, development approach in each iteration so you'll see that there is a unit testing which is typically done by developers in agile uh, development approach then there is a future feature acceptance testing which can uh, comprise of verification and validation so there is a feature verification testing and feature validation testing so in feature verification testing this involves testing against the user stories acceptance criteria and this is often automated and may be performed by developers and or testers or both so in agile because everybody is uh, responsible for the quality of the end product so it's a collaborative responsibility of the team to perform the feature acceptance testing and mostly in agile you have to do the automation around uh, the acceptance testing criteria and regression testing so that you can do the whole coverage uh, with the incremental builds now the other part is the feature validation testing which involves um, the testing to confirm whether the feature that you are developing is fit for use for the end users and the customers so this is often um, uh, will be done by manually uh, this is uh, manual testing by the developers or testers or business analysts or even the other acceptance testing people now uh, this improves the visibility of the progress and gain real feedback from the business stakeholders so feature validation testing which is done by the testing team or development team in agile project 
and then it is also it could also be done by the uh, the actual business stakeholder or the customer to uh, see what is the actual development that is happening and this gives the real feedback of how the product is looking like and the feedback to the business stakeholder now the third uh, form of testing that happens in agile uh, development approach is regression testing which is also in the iteration and this is done throughout the iteration or sprint so regression testing happens throughout the sprint and it runs in parallel with automated unit testing and feature verification test from the current iteration and previous iterations automated regression uh, tests are part of the continuous integration framework so regression testing in agile is only possible when you have the good develop uh, good automation strategy in place and you keep automating the te regression test cases from the previous sprint uh, uh, as well as current sprint and iteration the reason for that is because you are building incremental there will be a lot of uh, regression test cases that need to be executed in all the upcoming iterations and that number will keep growing so if unless unless until you automate those test cases uh, it will be really difficult or uh, not feasible for you to do or perform those regression t regression tests in one iteration in 10 iterations down the line so it's very important that automation uh, unit testing and automated regression testing is in place for each iteration to cope up with the, um, the amount of regression testing that needs to be done in the agile development approach the next test level in agile is system testing which is done once the user story is ready for testing and this involves functional and non-functional aspects of the story which needs to be tested so system testing happens once the user story is ready for testing so uh, till now regression testing mostly was automated so all these test levels are happening in the uh, in the same iteration so in system testing once the story is done ready for testing you do the functional as well as non-functional testing of that particular story the next level is the acceptance testing which is usually done by the end of the iteration or sometimes after the iteration so acceptance testing takes place very close uh, after the uh, or very close in the iteration uh, till the end of the iteration or even sometimes once the iteration is done then in the next iteration the acceptance testing is performed and acceptance testing includes users operational uh, regulatory or contract acceptance test and it also can involve alpha beta test um, that can be done based on the product now these are some of the test levels and all these test levels are part of the same iteration in agile development approach and different from the traditional development approach wherein the exit criteria of one test level became the entry criteria for the another test level so please make sure you memorize all these test levels and the differences between the test levels in traditional development approach and agile development approach to um, before you appear for the ISTQB uh, agile tester certification exam thank you